guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you my one of my favorite sandwiches in the entire world, and this is my husband's number one sandwich ever. It's chicken and broccoli rob. We used to make the sandwich at the restaurants with when I had the restaurants with my dad, and we used to call it chicken rustico, and we used to serve it on focaccia rolls. And if you've been cooking with me for a while, you know that recently I uploaded a video on how to make homemade focaccia rolls. So this is the perfect thing. To make, you know, to put it in in those rolls. Um, I didn't make any today, so I'm just using some crusty ciabatta rolls, but that's fine. But before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need some fresh broccoli wrap that have been just cleaned, washed, and trimmed. You're going to need some chicken breast, just two pieces of chicken breast, because this is gonna make two sandwiches. Some fresh mozzarella, sliced. Some garlic, fresh rosemary, pinch of hot pepper flakes, some balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper. Of course, you're going to need a couple rolls, and you're going to need a little olive oil. Now we're going to go straight into the cooking. Ideally, I would be doing the chicken breast at the same time I'm doing the broccoli rob, but because I'm demonstrating this recipe for you, I want to do one step at a time just to give you a clear visual of what each step is supposed to be like. So keep that in mind. So if you were doing it like if I was just doing it every day, like I would do it for lunch, I would do it at the same time, and it would be done in 10 minutes. So. What I have here is a, a skillet that's got large sides with about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And to that, I am going to add my garlic, some sliced up garlic. Now, I, you can see that it's not, the oil is not hot yet, and that's what I want, because I want the oil to infuse, I want the garlic to infuse into the oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that go until it becomes nice and hot, and this garlic sizzling, and it's really fragrant. While that's happening, what I'm going to work on is quickly do a very simple, easy little marinade for the chicken. Now I have two pieces of chicken breast here, and I'm going to grate a clove of garlic. You can grate it or you can finely mince it, it doesn't matter, you just want it to be nice and fine, just like that. And I'm going to just strip a couple leaves of rosemary off the stem, just chopping them roughly. You don't want the stem though, you just want the leaves. And not too much because rosemary is very, very strong. So that's perfect for me. I want a little salt on a little pepper. And just less than a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit, like that. And then using your fork, you want to just mush it around. And this just gives this chicken breast just a little bit more flavor. We always, in the restaurant, we always marinated our chicken breast in this marinade for just about everything because it just gave it so much flavor. So, set that aside because now what we're going to continue to do is to work on the broccoli rabe. Now my garlic is just there but not yet and this is the moment where I'm going to add in a pinch of hot pepper flakes. One of my very, very first episodes on Laura in the Kitchen was how to make broccoli rabe. So if you want to check out that episode, go ahead and do that. But we're basically doing the same thing. All I'm going to do is just get this to get a little bit hotter, and then just add in your broccoli rabe. And this is one bunch, and I've just chopped it roughly. And I'm gonna put the lid on, and this is on medium heat, I'm gonna put the lid on for just a minute. I want it to wilt, and then it, that way I can toss it easier. That's perfect. Great. Just give us a toss. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water. And the water helps, obviously, it obviously helps them cook, but broccoli rabe is also very bitter green, so by adding a little bit of water, it gives the bitterness somewhere to escape to and evaporate. Now, you can do the same recipe if you don't like broccoli rabe, because I know that not everybody does, because they are bitter. You can do the same recipe with spinach, broccoli, asparagus, zucchini, any vegetable that you like that's a tender vegetable that would cook down well. So all I'm going to do is salt this with a little salt, in, obviously with a little salt and pepper. And then just over medium heat, I'm going to let this cook for about, I would say 7 to 10 minutes or until the broccoli rabe are really cooked to your likeness because I know I like mine super, super cooked so they're really soft and mushy, uh, but some people like them with a bit more texture. So for me, it's going to take about 7 minutes or so, 7 to 10 minutes and it'll, it'll be perfect. Broccoli rabe look gorgeous and as you can see they cook down a lot so this is done for me and it only took about seven minutes or so and it's going to be perfect for just two sandwiches now if you're making four i would obviously just double up the recipe 
Now to the same skillet, and I'm gonna wash it, nothing. I'm just gonna drizzle a tiny bit more olive oil, less than a tablespoon, look at that, maybe a teaspoon, because you already have a little bit of olive oil left over from the broccoli rabe. I'm gonna put this up to medium high because the chicken breasts are so thin that I'm gonna be able to get a good color and cook all the way through if I'm cooking them on medium high. If they were thicker, cook them on a lower heat for a little bit longer. But this is good. I'm just gonna put them in. And I'm gonna just let these cook for about three minutes or so on each side or until they're fully cooked through. My chicken breasts are cooked on both sides and now what I'm going to do is top each one with the broccoli rabe. You see where I'm going with this? It's just so good. So, so good. If you love broccoli rabe, if you love like ooey gooey mozzarella, the sandwich is for you. Top it with some fresh mozzarella. Just as much or as little as you want really. I think three slices will be just perfect for this. And then, I'm going to cover this because the steam is going to help the mozzarella like melt a little bit and once it starts melting, we'll make our sandwiches. Oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. Put that over there. Put this one over here. Mm. Turning the skillet off. Put the top on and squeeze so that all that juice kind of gets stuck in there. And I toasted my, my rolls here, but you can do whatever you want. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that baby. Mm. I can't even take another second and wait because I just want a piece of it ASAP. So juicy. Mmm. Mmm. One of my favorites of all time, easily. It has everything I love. The broccoli rabe, which I grew up eating, and it's in every Italian family's. Every Italian family has their version of making it. This just happens to be my version of it. Juicy chicken breast, some ooey gooey mozzarella, the toasted bread. What more can I ask for? I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.lauraandthekitchen.com to get the recipe, then get to cooking, and I'll see you next time. Bye.